all right what's up everybody back with another video today um today we've got a knife modification for you and i'm going to be modding my pm2 here this is my uh, knives plus custom para para the, the, the paramilitary 2 can't talk today so this one has their uh, acid stone wash uh blade finish their raindrop carbon fiber scales uh, i'm sorry Titanium calls theirs raindrop carbon fiber. These are knives plus Damascus carbon fiber scales. And a big reason I went with these um, is because titanium hates lefties and will not put two tiny little clip screw holes in the left side of their knife scales. Um, I really don't think it makes the knife look any worse. That's just my opinion personally. And is it biased? Absolutely, because I'm a lefty. So, um, I think way more companies should do left-handed holes. Um, and, and even for the fact that I know a lot of righties that carry left-handed because they put their phone and stuff in their right-handed pockets. But anyways, you, you can see here a little bit the uh, finish that's kind of wore off there. And it had a little rust spot on it. And I tried to scrub it off and it took the... Uh, acid etching off so anyways what we've got for this today is the rock scale designs pellet paramilitary to backspacer and graphite check it out here uh, check the color so this backspacer um, was sixty dollars that's on the high end for a backspacer, but Rock Scale Designs makes some quality stuff. Um, and this uh, this backspacer deletes your lanyard tube and one of your standoffs. So the uh, screws here go straight into the backspacer. And then obviously it fills up your lanyard tube. And I really liked the look of this thing for the pictures they had. And part of the reason I'm making this video is I could not find a uh, video or review of this backspacer on YouTube for the pair of two. There's a lot of Benchmade stuff from them, but could not find this video. So I said, we're just going to make one. I make little videos anyways. Um, I don't get many views. I just do this for fun and that's okay. Um, if these videos help one person that's looking to, to find out about this backspacer, then uh, it's worth it to me. So yeah, this is very well made. Um, the coating's very nice. I really like the graphite color. Um, they've got, uh, they sell titanium scales in this color as well. Um, and, and I'm looking to get another PM2 and I want to put some titanium scales on it. And I'm thinking about getting the uh, S110V pair of two and putting their titanium scales on it. Kind of making like the ultimate pair of two. Um, and another one of these backspacers. But um because i've really started carrying my pair of two a lot and uh this one's a nicer one i didn't really want to beat up on it too much so i'm thinking about getting another one to be a, a true user even though this one's kind of messed up because of the uh coating there um kind of bothers me I'm a little ocd but anyways I'll show you the sticker here and that's what you're looking for if you're looking to get it and really fast shipping um they did have a note that said three to five days to just to get it out um they shipped it i ordered it wednesday it shipped thursday and today is saturday came from california to tennessee so very impressed with the shipping uh came usps usps does really well for me personally I've had more problems with FedEx and UPS than USPS by far. And I still had some problems, but but yeah, I just want to show you guys this backspacer. I am about to install it so you can see it on the knife. So let's go ahead and get into that. Um, I'm going to take this side off here. T10, T8. And I do have my little Weeha bit set here. Um, absolutely fantastic purchase. Uh, I was kind of debating on whether I really needed one, and I'm super happy after getting it. The T6, um, it gives you so much confidence. I feel like you would snap the head off of a screw before you stripped it out um, with this Weeha T6 bit driver. So, pair of two, nice and simple, only three screws.
and this should be a fairly simple install overall. Second and third screw. Pop the scale off here. And your liner. You got your washer. Boom. Whole liner tube came out. Here's my old backspacer. This one came from Pacific Signs. Uh, they're a smaller company, but they make really nice stuff. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and take the lanyard tube out. Came out pretty easy there. Happy with that. Next, we're going to take this standoff out because we will not be needing it anymore. Another screw. So I'm trying to make sure I uh, <clears throat> get everything on camera here. While we're in here, I'm take a Q-tip and clean around the pivot a little bit. Clean off my stand off here a little bit. I have a little drop of oil on there. That's way too much. Soak a little bit back up here. There we go. Sorry, I messed my camera up there. All right, now let's see how this fits in here. See how this snaps in. Oh, perfect. It just sets in there. Um, let's install this screw back in this side here. Sorry, I got to take it off camera for a second. Okay, kind of set it in there, lined it up. Screws right in absolutely fantastically. All right, clean off my pivot here. Pivot area, I should say. Golly, I need to adjust my oil nozzle there. <laughs> Shooting out of time. Let's slap this back together here. Boom. That's uh that's all she wrote. Get my screws back in. Check my centering. Put the screw back in that screws into the back spacer. my pivot screw back in and I am going to go back and adjust all this stuff off camera just trying to throw it in for the camera real quick show you how fast you can install it wiper down Boom, there we go. One well, that take about two minutes. <laughs> so you can see there it kind of uh fills in a little bit of the uh adjust this lighting. Kind of fills in a little bit uh of the lanyard hole back there. I really like that look from the back. That color is absolutely perfect. Um Blends in with everything really, really well. You can see it's kind of uh, almost the same color as the acid etching on the blade. Um, but yeah, I, I really, really like the look of that. Um, I like the look from the side, how it kind of fills in. A little bit of the lanyard tube there. Um, looks great from the back. Fit is really good. See how it feels. It's a really good feel. Um, it doesn't stick out as much as my other one, but it's got just a little bit there. Um, fantastic. Um, very happy with that. Um, you know, it's 60 bucks, but worth it for me because I think it looks great. And this is a pretty nice pair too anyway. It's got a bunch of stuff on there, so kind of fits with it. 
But yeah, that's the uh, rock scale designs backspacer for the Paramilitary 2 in graphite. Check it out there. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully, uh, if you're looking for uh, what this backspacer looks like and how it fits, this will answer your questions. And it fits fantastic. Looks fantastic. And uh, I've got a pair of three. I was thinking about getting one of these four as well. And I think I'm going to go ahead and go through with that. So, yeah. Uh, appreciate y'all watching. And have a great day.